Pretty Salma, a lit Red Riding Hood story from Africa by Nikki Deli. Salma lived with her granny and her grandfather on the quiet side of town. One day, her granny said, Salma, pretty Salma, please go to market for your old granny who loves you so. Salma put on her blue scarf, her stripy and tama, her pretty white beads and her yellow sandals. She tucked Granny's shopping list in her entama, lifted Granny's big straw basket onto her head and kissed Granny goodbye. Straight there and back again, said Granny. And don't talk to strangers, you hear? Okay, I promise, said Salma. Off went Salma flip-flop, flip-flop in her yellow sandals. As she walked, she sang her favorite song. Salma, oh, pretty Salma, come kiss Granny, oh, your darling old Granny, who loves you so. At the market, she bought a giant watermelon, a speckled rooster, an ice cold pink drink, and a bunch of candy striped straws. The sun was growing hot and the basket felt very heavy. So Salma decided to take a shortcut home through the wild side of town. Along the way, she sang her favorite song. Salma, come kiss Granny, oh, your darling old Granny, who loves you so. Are you pretty Salma? asked the stranger. It was Mr. Dog. He had been listening to her song. Yes, said Salma. Are you going to Granny's? asked Mr. Dog. Yes, said Salma. Well, your basket is much too heavy for such a pretty little head, said Mr. Dog. Allow me to carry it for you. Salma did feel a bit dizzy from the heat, so she agreed to let Mr. Dog carry her basket. After a while, Mr. Dog asked, What are you wearing on your feet? Sandals, replied pretty Salma. Mm, they must be making your little feet very hot, he said. Why don't I wear them for you? So they stopped and Mr. Dog slipped his big feet into Salma's sandals. On they went. Floppity flip, flippity flop. After a while, Mr. Dog asked, What's that wrap you're wearing? My entama, replied Salma. I bet you'd feel cooler without it. I'd be happy to wear it for you. No sooner had Mr. Dog wrapped Salma's and Tama around himself than he asked for her scarf and pretty beads. How do I look? asked Mr. Dog, striking a pose. Mr. Dog strutted along the road in high style. Salma began to miss her things. But when she asked for them back, Mr. Dog only said, Some music will help us beat the heat. Won't you teach me a song? So Salma tried to teach him her favorite song. Salma, oh pretty Salma, come kiss Granny, oh, your darling old Granny, who loves you so. But Mr. Dog was hopeless at singing. All he could do was go, woof, woof. I need a lot more practice, said Mr. Dog. And until I learn to sing, you won't get your things back. Salma begged, Salma pleaded, Mr. Dog, Mr. Dog, please give me back my things. Mr. Dog growled, shh. 
you will never ever get your things back. Now run away little girl before I bite you in two. Poor Salma got such a fright when she saw his sharp teeth that she ran and ran and ran until she found her grandfather dressed in his Anansi costume telling stories. When grandfather heard Salma's story, he said, That's a very exciting story, Salma, but it doesn't sound like a happy ending. How can we save Granny? I know, said Salma. We'll scare Mr. Dog. Exactly how will we scare Mr. Dog? asked grandfather. Like this, said Salma putting on the mask of Kakamotobi, the boogeyman. Salma picked up Anansi's Adumpan and beat it loudly. Goema, Goema! Grandfather picked up his brothers and gave them a fierce shake. Shuka, shuka! Little Abubakar, who loved the good scare, joined in with clapping sticks. Let's go! cried Salma. Meanwhile, when Granny saw Mr. Dog flip-flopping up the path, she thought it was her pretty Salma. Salma, pretty Salma, come give your Granny who loves you so a kiss, cried Granny. Mr. Dog leapt up and gave her a sloppy kiss. Oh, my Salma, said Granny, what a wet nose you have. Granny took the heavy basket from Mr. Dog and said, Salma, pretty Salma, you look hungry. Let's eat. Mr. Dog started to chase the speckled rooster round and round. Oh, my Salma, said Granny, what an appetite you have. Then Granny said, Salma, pretty Salma, it's time for your bath. Into the bath leaped Mr. Dog. Oh, my Salma, said Granny. What hairy ears you have! Are you sure you are my pretty Salma? Oh, yes, yes, yes! cried Mr. Dog, jumping onto Granny's lap and wagging his tail. Now Granny was really worried. Did her pretty Salma have a tail? Perhaps this wasn't her pretty Salma. Well, there was only one way to find out. Let's sing our favorite song, said Granny. And she started to sing. Salma, oh pretty Salma, come kiss Granny on. Your darling old Granny, who loves you so. Woof, woof, barked Mr. Dog. Then Granny knew she had been tricked. She reached for her broom. Out, get out! But Mr. Dog liked being pretty Salma far too much to leave Granny's house. So instead, he growled and snapped at her. <laughs> Granny was afraid Mr. Dog would bite her in two, so she jumped into her cooking pot. Mr. Dog pushed the lid down. Mmm, nice, he thought. Granny soup. Granny cried, help, help, help. Just then, the door burst open with a loud call, call, shuka, shuka, shaka, shaka. When Mr. Dog saw Kakamo Tobi the boogeyman and his gang, he got a terrible fright. That bad dog slipped and tripped over his miserable tail right out of the house, back to the wild side of town. Salma took off her mask and helped Granny climb out of the pot. Then they all sat down to eat watermelon and sip a nice cold pink drink through candy striped straws. The next day, Granny sent Salma to the market to buy new clothes. Salma went straight there and back, and she never talked to strangers again. <laughs>